is up? Welcome to the vlog. This is our little culture area at Fitness Culture here today. Um, I'm going with the Sour Citrus. It's a leg day. I love taking pre-workouts mainly on leg days and back days. Speaking of back, I hurt my back. L4, L5, bulge disc. If you guys have been watching the videos, you know that. Yesterday was my first day of training and it was a push day. Made sure that I was always basically supported and doing things or never put my back in a compromising position. Legs today, gonna be a little bit harder. So I'm gonna take you guys through a leg workout, a warm up stretching routine for a lower back. A lot of people out there have back injuries. I'm gonna show you guys how to do freaking leg day with a tender back. Not gonna do any back squats, not gonna do any front squats, not gonna do any deadlifts. What are we gonna do? You're just gonna have to tune in and see. I'm gonna drink my pre-workout and we'll see you downstairs. The thing I didn't do when I injured my back was I didn't warm up properly. I didn't warm up at all. I jumped in and started training, which is a big no-no. I know better than that. You guys should know better than that. But just in case you're young and dumb out there and think you can get away with it, spend 10 to 15 minutes warming up. Mobility, making sure that we're ready to train. That warm should get us ready to go. All right, so warm up out of the way. A lot of that is to activate glutes. The more we can turn on the glutes when we're not using our lower back. A lot of times we get to the gym, we start back squatting too early. All of a sudden, all of those muscles in there, those internal stabilizers aren't warmed up properly. Our glutes aren't activated properly. So going through a proper warm up is gonna get us not only sweaty, and ready to train, but also firing the right muscles. So first things first though, we really wanna minimize the risk we put our lower back in by not having it stable. So we're gonna do a little pre-exhaust. Now pre-exhaust is training the targeted areas. Quads, hamstrings today, we're gonna to do a little bit of calves. We wanna really minimize the amount of compression on the spine like we talked about. We wanna make sure that spine is in a fixed position where it's not having to do a lot of flexing, a lot of extending. Those types of things are gonna really put us at risk of oh, straining it again. So we're gonna to try to stay locked and loaded and really keeping weight off of, of that spinal column. So first things first, supersetting as a pre-exhaust technique, back and forth, leg extensions, hamstring curls. On these here, three seconds on the eccentric, good form. Again, we're not ever gonna move, especially today, because we don't wanna be moving our back at all. Well, straight into our hamstring curls. Biggest thing on this, typically I would do my hamstring curls here. Doing them like this can be really good hamstring activation, but we're also kind of overarching our lower back. Here, we wanna hang, hang on to this right here, to the pad, and we wanna limit the amount of movement we have in our lower back, meaning you might have to go light enough to where it is 100% hamstrings. There's no ego lifting when you have a back injury. What are we doing? Back and forth, one minute rest in between. Another thing we're gonna really concentrate on, not a ton of rest time in between things like our supersets today. As long as we're making sure we're keeping that back safe, I still like to get a good workout, meaning we're gonna be doing muscular endurance. That time under tension is gonna play a role in that, but also we're gonna still get a decent amount of total sets in today. I will also tell you guys, I don't do anything if I feel pain. So like today I'm in here, I'm not having shooting pains. If that was the case, you know, if my muscles were still spasming, if my back was still spasming, I wouldn't be doing legs at all today. So I'm on a day about day 12. I did have that cortisone shot. Um, things have stopped spasming about five days ago. And if things hurt at all, that is a great reason not to do something. So in here today, everything is preventative, meaning I'm not feeling any pain in my back doing any of these exercises, but I'm making sure that I'm using proper movement patterns so that I don't injure my back again. Hey, even though, even though you got a hurt back, you still gotta come in dripping. You gotta come in dripping with the kicks. Yeah. Got these in, uh, got these Jordan ones in England. They're uh, they're a European exclusive only. Ooh, you're hard showing off. All right, first compound exercise. 
it's gonna be our rogue monster rhino belt squat aka the belt squat love this because instead of putting weight on our back and compressing that spine all of the weight is really going to be pulling almost tractioning our lower back like around our hips and pulling from here love this machine if you have any sort of back problems i don't do this enough because oh my god my back's feeling good i'm gonna start doing front squats i'm gonna start using this one a lot more because it pulls too at an angle more straight down so you really you don't you find yourself having to use less of these internal stabilizing muscles because there's where all the weight is at there's less ground between that and the and the floor basically so you're not having to do as much stabilizing it's pulling you straight down and there's only a few feet to the ground here in front of the quads absolutely on fire i think that might be more of a burn than even a normal squat okay super setting our uh, belt squat with the thruster. Now, if your back is still really injured, one of the stretches, talking with my chiropractor, talking with the PT, is heels coming close to your butt as possible. Extending here, our hips towards the ceiling. And then from there, we're just doing some thrusters with a limited range of motion. I'm gonna come up to the top position here, grab this dumbbell, put it onto my hips, and from here, just going to extend at the top, not coming down quite as far as I would on a normal hip extension here. Again, we're working some of that posterior chain. I can feel it in that posterior chain, even back into almost where it feels like my tailbone, that coccyx, and really through the hamstrings even. Strengthening the entire posterior chain, all while keeping my core nice and tight. 90 seconds, we're back onto our belt squat. See how I stood up there? Today I'm sipping on little BCAs, flavor that isn't out yet, so I don't even want to talk about it. Top secret, if I told you guys, I'd have to kill you. <laughs> Hamstring exercise, each individual leg will be working. We call that exercising isolaterally, so each individual side at a time. Biggest thing here, we want our hips up against the pad here. So there's nowhere for our back to move. Two, three. All right, again guys, my back is healthy enough that I can walk around with dumbbells. I couldn't do this a week ago. So split squat here, two points of contact. And again, we're not moving at all. So our, our spinal column should stay in place as we lower, drop almost to the knee and come back up. Watch what we're doing when we pick up weights, when we switch legs. All of that is important to minimize that injury. I told you guys we're gonna be doing some supersets, some tri-sets. On to the last movement of this tri-set. All right, you can tell I'm still breathing hard. Came straight over here from our split squats. Sled push. Now, if you have the traditional sled in your gym, you're gonna to wanna to pile up about 75% of as heavy as you can push. We're gonna be using this tank is what we have. So our our sled here has adjustable, an adjustable handle that you can change your resistance. I have it turned up all the way. From there, I'm gonna get into a position where it's, I'm not gonna change my upper body. I'm leaning against it, and I'm able to then push the prowler without moving my lower back. And this is gonna be just short choppy steps, leg drive. Again, the way we get into this, by sinking into it and leaning forward, I'm, there's not a big hinge hip. I'm actually leaning that way. I'm gonna go do two more rounds of that. I'm gonna rest here for two minutes. And again, today's workout might be a little bit different than what you're used to, but we're training, we're training around an area that we're starting to get back in to training. So haven't trained in two weeks, getting back first leg day back. I can definitely tell muscular endurance taking a hit, but my back still feels great. After I'm done here, I'm actually gonna be heading to a physical therapy session. If I wasn't, I would get a little stretch and I would ice immediately after working out. Hope this helps. If you guys have any back issues, definitely see your doctor, a PT first. Make sure you're clear to come back and start training. Appreciate you guys. I gotta get going. Let's go hop in the truck. So, I think we have enough time to stop at one of my favorite places in the world. Not Disneyland, not Disneyland, but close. Yeah, you guys ready to see it? 
Here it is. Oh my gosh, there it is. Oh my gosh, I love Chick-fil-A. And the best part is, I think they finally have the grilled spicy chicken sandwich. I've been asking these guys for months, years, my entire life. And recently they told me, oh yeah, we're gonna get it next week. We're gonna get it next week. Well, guess what? They didn't, they didn't, they didn't. And then I got an ad on my phone last night saying they did. So I'm gonna be pretty pissed off if they don't have this grilled spicy chicken sandwich. And you know what? I just hit legs. I'm getting two. I'm gonna tell you guys how it is. The official review of the grilled chicken sandwich from Chick-fil-A coming from one of the, the biggest Chick-fil-A connoisseurs on the planet, if I'm being honest right now. I eat Chick-fil-A at least twice a week. This isn't even a sponsored post. I love Chick-fil-A this Hey Siri, FaceTime Morgan Rose Maroney. Uh, I just wanna let you know. That you're eating Chick-fil-A. It's amazing. Uh -huh. The spicy grilled chicken sandwich, it's everything I've dreamt for and mm. hoped for. Oh, the spice level is perfect. All right, I love you. Okay, bye. Okay. Got Chick fil A juice. Spicy Chick fil A juice. Juice freaking running down my leg. Let's head to go see the PT. Alright, we're doing the, the TENS unit on my back. I do, I'm do. i doing physical therapy uh, once a week right now. And we'll get more into like what my treatment plan is for my back. But right now I just get, the, get all these electrodes hooked up and shock my back. I'm gonna, I'm gonna pass out. I'm gonna try to fall asleep. Right now my back is just So this is basically just helping blood flow to that area and uh, we'll get more a little bit about just the overall treatment from uh, my physical therapist who I've known for 15, 16 years now. We actually went to college together. I feel old. So this is always good for low back pain, stretching the hip flexors really well. Stretching the quads really well, stretching the glutes and the hamstrings, all the muscles across the hip. Gotcha. So just decreasing any kind of, any kind of, uh, I guess, compensations you have or decreasing like one one side pulling harder than the other. Okay. Affecting the hips. You push into with your hands and then push your knees up at the same time. So just another. Oh yeah. Something. Just That's to, just a lot of core activation there. Yeah. You can switch, so you can do this hand and this knee alone. It's kind of cross. Crossbody. Hey, even though even though you got a hurt back, you still got to come in dripping. Fan would be starting out if it was hurting, and then working up to getting yeah. something out. If that's okay. fine, then no, no. Mm. Okay. good there. I need to start doing more core <laughs> exercises, not just the pretty ones that you yeah. get jabs, but like your transverse and all the stuff that is uh, more functional. Right. So this part of the table kind of locks and unlocks. You have it unlocked so that it slowly kind of pulls away. Have a strap here and a strap there. Oh my gosh, bud! Back at the gym, at the PT. Basically, gonna do some emails. Nothing too exciting. Um, Hobbs hangs out with me everywhere. Trying to end this vlog. Never know how to end this vlog. Never know the proper way to say goodbye to you guys. It's the hard thing. Um, we could do, yeah, why not? Giveaway. I'm gonna give away a pre-workout to someone who comments on this video. Tell me something fun about yourself that you've never told anyone on YouTube. Do that, comment below, and I'll give away a pre-workout. I'll give away an entire one of these stacks. Protein pre-workout and a shaker cup. Ready to go. Thanks for watching the vlog. We'll see you next time. Don't forget to comment and like that. Smash that like button. Is that what YouTubers are saying these days? Smash that like button. Give it a thumbs up. Leave a comment. Thanks, guys. Bye.